All right, uh, we look at the um, updates tab of the pledge planner. Um, so this is fairly straightforward because if you follow uh, the lessons, I would recommend that you watch the lessons before uh, approaching this. But basically I divided here um, the category of the updates based on the, the main focus. Now, as I mentioned, some of them are going to be mixed so you can decide exactly in which category they uh, fit. I would go with what is the main, if you had to uh, keep only one news there, in which category would they fit? But anyway, you can put them more or less where you want. But um, it's just for you to remember that you can do updates in these three uh, ways or mix them. So fairly simple. Uh, I would recommend that you put an ID in the first column so you remember which number of, of update that is. And you can use like the simplest uh, um, code that would be the same number of update that uh, Kickstarter mentions. If you check the list of updates, it tells you this is the first, this is the second, this is the third. That, that's the easiest way. Um, and then, well, here you can uh, set the title uh, on which date you sent it. Uh, once it's published, you can paste there the link. Um, what is the status? Are you this, Is this 100% complete or are you still working on it? Do you need to add something? Um, and then if uh, you're working in a team, who is supposed to write that specific uh, update? It could be one or two people. For example, what happens very often with our campaigns is that I write most of it, but then I ask uh, some authors to um, complement uh, my updates with something uh, of their own. And then any note you might have here, uh, like for example, hold this for a bit longer or uh, let's use this uh, on this specific week, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's, it's fairly easy, that's, that's it. It's just a list so you can keep them all um, in sight at once. Because what happens is that, especially when you start to have quite a lot of them, um, you need to scroll down uh, on the Kickstarter update tab uh, to figure out oh, when did I send that specific update and it can get quite a long process. Uh, um, so um, also because uh, Kickstarter doesn't really load the list, it shows you maybe a couple then you need to scroll down a lot more, scroll down a lot more, it, it becomes a waste of time. So if you have something like this, you have everything uh, um, under your eye uh, at once and I think it would be useful even for you to plan like, okay, we should do, if you just want to plan them, uh, like um, we need a, a couple more of these uh, before the start of the campaign. And uh, we already did uh, three reacting to what the backer said. Um, we don't have anything related to events. Is there something we can um, take part to blah, blah, blah. So that's it. Uh, it's fairly simple, but it's good to have this list to keep things in uh, under control.